Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and it's time. We're going to take on the one that many of you have been demanding. Uh, it just came out with the update, Numbers Don't Matter. Create a task force of capital ships and attack a single but much more advanced battleship. So we're going to be facing a guy that's got it all. He's going to be maxed out. Uh, and I feel like the way to go in this situation is to do my best. Uh, rather than trying to, to build a bunch of ships to take him down with numbers, I'm going to do my best to build an, equ an almost as equally strong fleet. Understanding I won't be able to have the same technologies that he does. I'm just going to have to do the best that I can. So I'm going to go with the uh, the strongest and most advanced ships possible. I don't know how many that will allow me to build. Uh, I've got $195 million, and I chose the higher technology just because I feel like that might be the way to go. So let's take a look and see what we've got. I haven't tried this yet, so I really have no idea. I've got Dreadnought 4, and uh, we're immediately, first things first, we're going to go as big as we can with the displacement. We're not going to have the 70 plus thousand or up to 90,000 behemoth that he probably does. Uh, we can drop our range. That's kind of our basic starting point as is uh, at least going with, we'll, we'll start with Krupp 1 at least for now. And then we'll kind of work our way from there as far as the armor goes. Uh, main tower, I'm, boy, it gets expensive, but to go with this one but that's what we're going to do and if i can go back somewhere in the middle i want to try and be able to i want to get two two turrets on each side if i can that's kind of the direction we're going to go with this just not sure if there's going to be enough room back there for that so let's go with um yeah that's not going to allow it either so we're going to go with this tower because it's going to allow me to get the bigger turrets on the rear. This may be big enough, so I might be able to move up. Let's see what kind of main guns we can get. We can go all the way up to 18-inch. Um, for obvious reasons, I prefer to go with the 17-inch just because of the accuracy. Uh, although, wait, these are Mark III 18-inch. Uh, so they're actually, at 10,000 meters, they are 34%. Uh, the other ones are 24, so it's actually better to go with the 18s. They're the most accurate. Uh, now, obviously, there's a difference between... Actually, there's a, a negligible difference between 3-barrel and 2-barrel. So we're going to go 3. Yeah, I can't go on that thing. I was afraid of that. Uh, all right, let's see what kind of barbettes. We don't have the... Okay, we can do that. Good. See if we can go with one on the rear, too. We can. Perfect. I have a feeling we're going to end up with maybe three of these battleships by the time I'm all said and done. Three 18 inch. There we go. Hopefully, we can get another one on here. Come on. All right. I might have to go back a little further with this front tower to make this happen. Or I might have to go with a different advanced tower. One that doesn't have that barbette on the front. Yeah, like this. Okay. So we'll take a little bit of hits for that, but not, not a big difference. No, I don't want another barbette. What am I thinking here? Okay. Now we should... Oh, come on. All right, can we go back any further? Can we go back any further with this? Ah, oh, you're killing me. All right. So that may not happen even with Advanced Tower 10. What if we go to, or 11, what if we go to 10? 10 was what I had, okay. What about if we go to nine? That won't let me move up that far. Oh, man. You're killing me. And I think Dreadnought... I think this other hall is way too small. Oh, decisions, decisions here. 
I really don't want to go all the way down. Now, that tower, it's still... No matter what I do, I can't... I don't think I can get to 18 inch with barbettes up front. Okay, so I, I tried and tried and tried. There was no way to do it. So we're going to go with advanced tower 12, rear tower 8. Uh, I can at least put some secondary guns on those barbettes. Uh, not that they're going to matter a whole lot up against this guy. In fact, since I'm going against this big battleship, I really feel like it'd be a waste of time to even put smaller guns on this thing. I could use that weight uh, for other things. Uh, so really, we're just going to bulk this bad boy up as much as we possibly can. We can go all the way up to diesel 2 on the uh, on the engine, so we're definitely going to do that. We're going to go oil. We're going to go balanced draft boilers. We're going to go turbo electric drive. We're going to just go as advanced as I can on just about everything. Now, I might have to scale back things like the armor before we're all said and done. But I'm just going to start out that way. I'm not going to worry about the torpedoes. There are going to be some destroyers, but I'm going to count on the fact that I, that I deal with them early enough. We're definitely going to go with super heavy shells. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to need a lot of them because if it takes that long to take him out, I will probably already be gone at that point. So see, we're down to just two battleships, which is kind of what I expected uh, now, what is the one that I want for uh, max penetration? Because we really want to try and... Well, I don't know. Do we go to Lydite? Because the chances are he's going to probably blow me up if I do that. So, um... All right, we'll go there. Definitely want to get the best range finder. So I, I do have a, a decent amount of uh, technology available to me, which is good. I don't know what I'm going to be dealing with as far as his guns go with armor. So I'm going to have to just go crazy with my armor as best I can. Um, I think bulkheads I'm not going to worry about too much. We do need to get a uh, couple of funnels going. And uh, some of you had some good advice as far as the funnels go. I had been mostly going with just one advanced funnel to do the trick. But uh, some of you correctly pointed out that, hey, that's great until you lose a funnel. So we'll at least go with two. I don't really have room for any more than that. But that at least uh, I only need one for engine efficiency. But. At least this way, it gives me a little bit more flexibility if something happens. Now, I do have this problem of the aft weight offset. I don't know if I can go back. I can't with the barbette, so I'm kind of stuck there. Uh, so I may have to do something to... I can't go any further front with that gun. So there's not a whole lot I can do to offset the weight without changing my guns. Um, let's first deal with armor, and then we'll see where we're at with the weight situation. Uh, this is probably going to be a long-range deal, so I feel like I've got to bulk up on the deck armor as best I can without going too insane with it. And I don't know if 9 inch is going to be enough for that or not. It looks like it would be, at least for 18-inch guns. I'm assuming he's not going to have anything bigger than that. Um, at 20,000 meters, the penetration uh, for deck armor is 6.7. So it feels like 9 is, is good uh, unless we're outside of that range of 22,005, which I don't intend on being that far out. Um, I'll have to go up at least some with the deck extended. I, I, again, I don't want to go crazy. At some point, it becomes a, a, bit, a big issue, though. Um, try to protect the turrets a little more if I can. i got to watch that cost. Weight, I'm fine. I might be able to come back on the, on the weight a little bit by uh, changing my displacement some. Ah, we're down to one battleship already. Secondaries isn't an issue because I don't have any. What can I do to change the cost? I can do speed. 
that definitely helps. I can come down on displacement some, but we've got to keep an eye out for where that becomes an issue. That's actually making the weight offset worse. Oh boy, okay. Just this issue of guns. I, may, I might have to put a secondary gun up there just because of the weight. We'll go with the biggest ones we can. Actually, I could put a main gun that would be smaller. Something that'll fit on that barbette. It's going to really mess with things as far as having that one 15-inch gun and all these 18s. Oh, and the 18 doesn't like it. Of course not. Uh, is there anything I can do about that? It doesn't appear there is, at least not with a gun that big. I'm going to have to go with a secondary gun. Still a problem. All right. Well, we're definitely running into build issues galore here. We might have to scrap that advanced tower in favor of a different one. One that can come back. Oh, we're already off offset on aft weight, so we've got to go. That actually makes it worse. Oh boy. What if we throw some casemate guns? I don't know how much that's, that's only 175 tons a piece, so it's not gonna make a huge difference. It certainly kills my cost though, and it didn't do much to offset the weight. Okay. Well, I'm just dying to get into this thing, so I've done a few things to sacrifice just to be able to get myself the, uh, the weight to where it wasn't bright yellow and yelling at me. It's still really far from ideal, but I really just want to explore this battle and see what happens. So we're going to dive into it uh, with my two battleships. I do not expect the first run to be ideal or to go perfect, but I at least want to see what we're up against. We're going to take them on two on one. It may be that the way to go is to go with more and do it with cheaper. I don't know. My first run through is very rarely a smashing success though. Two battleships, seven destroyers against one battleship. It's the United States versus Germany. I have a feeling he's going to just wipe my destroyers out like it's nothing. I think we've already spotted him. Thanks to radar. I'm assuming that's what this means. Let's see what we're looking at over here. Yep. Oh, he's way out there. But we do have radar now. 34 kilometers out. Let's get a look at this bad boy. Well, let's start turning this way first. Gotta love when radar shows up on the scene. All right. He's actually got little guns. Look at those little guns. He's got a massive amount of smaller guns, but they're not going to have the range. That's interesting. Okay. We've already begun firing. We are going to close the range some here. But not by a crazy amount. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> We've got a 2.5% chance of landing these. Takes a while just to get to them at that range. We're going to go ahead and... Actually, that was uh, remarkably close for her, for the first shots. Hey, holy cow. Nicely done, boys. I don't expect that he's going to sink easily, but look at those shots landing on target. I love it. With that in mind, I'm inclined not to get much closer. I mean, eventually we're going to have to go after his destroyers, but oh, that's beautiful.
Man, it just takes forever to get back to him. He's closing the distance now, but I have already done a lot of damage. He's at 76%. Oh, that was glorious. And I'm, I'm still going flank speed. Let's slow this bad boy down. Thirty-one kilometers out. And landing hits. I love it. Just gotta watch his guns. I mean they're not real big, but I imagine if they hit me. There's another couple of hits. Sixty-seven percent. Oh, and two more. Oh, the accuracy is glorious. The Rhode Island and the Indiana doing their job. Thirty-four percent identification. I just want to see what kind of guns he's got and see what other specs we can learn about this thing. Curious what his name is too. Right, I'm gonna switch over to some HE now. I don't know if that's what we've been using or not. he's landed a hit yet I shouldn't say anything oh just as I said that he hit me there's a penetration on the, uh, the front end bow deck extended 391 damage what's he down to now 41% I don't know if we still have to seek out I didn't even pay attention okay here we go sink 100% of battleships keep alive okay so all I got to do is sink his battleship to win this thing this has been remarkably easy so far. I'm actually a little disappointed he doesn't have better guns. So here we've got, I don't know if this is new or if I just never paid attention to it before. Um, you can see what the different shots are doing. So we've got ricochet, four shots. We've had 18 partial penetration. We've had two over penetrate. And that looks like that was armor piercing. These are HE. High damage explosions inside the ship for a total of 2,000 damage cost. So those were all partial penetrations. You can kind of watch right here and you can see what happens with each of those. That's actually a, a very helpful little tool there. What's the distance now? We're still at 27 kilometers. All right, back we go. At some point, it'd probably be nice, and maybe there's a way to do this, and I'm not paying attention to it, to just be able to click on his ship without having to go like this to get back to him. But usually, they're not that far away. Oh, another couple of big hits. 22%. We may not even identify him before we sink him. Go ahead and watch my 18-inch uh, guns fire a few times. That'll be fun to watch. As soon as they're getting ready to fire, I'm going to go down to real time. Okay. I 
I love you can see the elevation. They're up way higher, obviously, for long range fire. Oh, the fire, that's nice. I've got this set to good, um, which is kind of the third best graphic setting. I think beautiful and fantastic are the other two. All right, let's go back up to three times. A lot of partial penetration. I'm going to switch back to um, to armor piercing. Let's just see if we have any success. He's at 17%, so I'm not sure how much they will. I just want to see what they do. I'm going to watch this. I think those were still AG. I probably should be on armor piercing now, so we'll see what they do. It worked, so far. Right, those do look like, the, I think they're ricocheting. I'll watch one more salvo with the armor piercing. We'll see what they do, we may switch back to HE. Eh, some partial pin. But for the most part, no. Not doing much. We we're definitely having better success with the high explosives. We're down to 24 kilometers now. Man, this accuracy has been glorious. I have been missing this kind of accuracy in some of the other scenarios. Oh yeah, 9%. Come on. Now comes the difficult part where we try to finish them off. Oh, there were some nice hits there. 4%. Oh yeah. Burn, baby, burn. It reminds me of the Bismarck in her final moments. I think she was actually scuttled by the Germans when they knew she couldn't be saved. The Brits would probably debate that. One of my favorite movies as a kid. I loved history movies as a kid, still do. Sink the Bismarck was always one of my favorites. Now we're getting more ricochet shots, which always seems to happen, as some of you pointed out, always seems to happen when they get down near the end. Those finishing shots always take a little longer. Man, we're just landing hits like crazy, though. This was never really that close. He got me down to 89%, but he's only got 14-inch guns. He's 105,000 tons, 33 knots. That's the thing. He's built for speed. He's max on bulkheads, but and he's got a ton of secondary guns. But his big guns aren't big. There we nailed a penetration shot in the front. A couple more in the center. Big one in the back. Somehow he's still at two percent. Oh, we finally found his uh, destroyer. What are the odds we can nail that guy at this distance? I'm gonna... Oh, I don't want them both firing on him. All right, I guess we just finish off the, the guy we came here to kill. I just screwed up my... <laughs> now they're redoing their range, their... Uh... Kind of range finding shots. Gotta get reset. Wait, 
take a few to... No, maybe not. We've got 140 partial penetration hits. I've hit him going on 200 times, if you count all of these. And yet, there he still sits at 2%. And now he's sending in his destroyers at me. But he's done! The poison is out, folks. That went really... I did not expect that to go well. But man, that was glorious. All right, so there you have it. That's our first look at Numbers Don't Matter. Um, we've got some other ones we'll take a look at next time. But for now, uh, I'm, I'm not going to add to that. Uh, what else can I say? It, it worked out. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Please drop a like and a comment. And we will see you again soon.